Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here are you tired of constantly getting running out of storage messages on your windows pc or laptop or are you constantly running out of your c drive storage and not being able to free it properly then in this video i'll be showing you guys how to free your storage space and manage your pc storage more efficiently for that we'll be using a brand new multi purpose tool which is known as 4d dig partition manager and all in one disk partition manager which has lot of features like migrating windows os to ssd creating brand new part partitions of your disk freeing up storage memory and lot more so you can check out its official web page which i link in description box below and thanks to tenorshare for sponsoring this video but i'll be giving you guys my 100% honest opinion because really it has a lot of amazing features such as disk cloning mode partitioning hard disk ssd pretty easily in just a single click so you can check out all of its features which i'll put in description box below it even lets you convert ntfs storage to fat32 storage along with unique features like recovering partitions repairing partitions repairing boot as well as creating win pen drive so to get started we'll simply add this onto our pc and it is pretty easy to set up once you open it for the first time you can tap on install settings if you want to customize it or simply tap on the install button to start setting it up on your pc i'll be showing you guys all of its features and i'll be partitioning my own d drive to show you that it really works pretty well now this process may take some time so just be patient and once that has been done simply tap on the start button when you open it for the first time i recommend you guys to simply tap on these three lines and make sure to register your product For that you will simply need to type your email address and registration code which you got while purchasing this app. And there we go. I have successfully registered inside of the 4D Dig Partition Manager. Now, when you open it for the first time, it will ask you to select an operation to perform. So you can either clone your disk if you want to copy data from one disk to another or you can clone a partition. Now not just that we get migrate os option which can be used to migrate our windows os onto another ssd or a disk which you want to use we also get ability to convert this from mbr to gpt or gpt to mbr not just that but the most helpful feature in freeing up storage from our pc is the partition management option because we can check the health of our disk we can also resize split delete format and do lot more stuff and even convert our disk to different format we also get partition recovery so if your disk partition has been deleted or gets corrupted you can use it to recover your partition and repair corrupted partitions so this is very useful feature let's go to the clone disk option and let me show you guys how it works so if you select clone disk then you will simply need to select a disk which you want to clone so currently the source disk is my disk 1 which is c drive 238 gb and the next step is to select a target disk to receive clone data from the source disk so it will clone my entire c drive and add it to my d drive so that's how it works you can simply tap on switch source disk if you want to perform this task other way around for example my disk 0 should be the disk which i want to clone so it works that way as well it's very efficient and very useful in terms of partitioning now currently i have not created any partition Uh, for that we'll simply go to partition management afterwards i'll select my d drive now here i'll simply tap on the split option to create a brand new partition for example i want to create a 29 gb worth of partition which is going to be the e drive you will be able to choose the drive letters as well it is pretty useful cluster size can be selected along with file system which is very helpful the partition size as you will be able to see is 29 gb will make it a little bit less like let's say i want to create a small partition to store my video files so it will be 5 gb i'll simply tap on the okay button here in the task list you will be able to see that my disk partition task has been added here you can add multiple tasks like extending shrinking and lot more but let's execute this first task so i'll simply tap on the okay button and let's say if you are using partition d in other programs like apps or games it will even warn you that to avoid file corruption you should shut down your applications properly anyways i'll simply tap on the the okay button all right guys to speed up our process i just created a new partition of 10 mb size and here you will be able to see local disk e of 10 mb has been created on my pc so that's how simple it is to partition your disk spaces using the 4d dig partition manager all right guys right here you will be able to see the e drive has been created and it is being shown successfully even in 4d dig partition manager we can even extend or shrink partition as well or if we want to merge this extended partition for example let's say you already have two hard disks disk d and disk key and you want to merge both of them together you can simply choose it and tap on the merge button so here i'll simply select the e disk as well and you will be able to see it can merge it properly without any issues now that i have selected both the disk and here it will show me that we will have only single disk which is the disk d so i'll simply press the okay button and we can even execute this task not just that we can even delete the disk which we just created and if we delete this partition it will 
will be unallocated space. With the help of this unallocated space, we can simply merge it with the original disk as well. And after we execute our task, you will be able to see it says deleting partition and the 10 MB partition will be deleted and we will have unallocated space which we can reassign to our hard disk D. The partition management option is mostly helpful when you have to create partitions. For example, you can create one partition for gaming, one partition for storing your videos or files and you can stay organized with all of your games, videos, movies or whatever. In terms of partition recovery, we can also recover the deleted partitions. So if I go to recover partition, you can select a disk and scan to see if there are any partitions which were previously deleted that you can recover. So yeah guys, those were some of the features of 4 dig Partition Manager. Be sure to check it out in description box below. It is a very helpful tool which will definitely help you organize your PC storage efficiently. I'll see you guys next time. Time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.